Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jan Clothier of Thinking Stamping and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in New Zealand. And today I thought I'd share with you uh, this card that I made with the beauty of the deep bundle from the 2023 to 2024 annual catalogue. Now I'm, I'm an absolute sucker for marine and sea life sets so I have had this set right from the beginning. I haven't made as much with it as I'd like. I'm kind of saving it for the summer holidays. Anyway, I was making up kits for this month's card classes which uses this card and as I was doing it I thought oh this would make a nice card to share with people because it's pretty and it's easy and uh, I thought you'd enjoy, enjoy seeing how I did it. So um, we'll just pretend for a moment that you are in my card class and apologies if you're in my Thursday morning or evening card class and you're watching this on Wednesday night uh, this is what we'll be making or one of the things that we'll be making. So in, in my classes, I start off by giving, they arrive and they're sitting on the table as the kit that they need. And the first thing I do is I go through and tell them what everything's for. So we've got a card base. Uh, it's Starry Sky and it is, as always for me, the width of an A4 piece of paper. So it's 21 centimetres, scored at 10 and a half, and I've cut it at 14.8. Now that's a standard size card base for me. So if you're using imperial measurements, just use... Um, your standard size card base and make each mat you know progressively quarter of an inch smaller um, you'll hear me say half a centimetre but that's about quarter of an inch okay so we've got a starry sky card base what else is in your kit well some bits and pieces come out come out okay there's an envelope which you can decorate as you like or not at all so we'll just pop that aside for now now, you've also got some pieces of basic white. You have, we're going to have, we've got three. Well, actually, we've got four if we count that one. So, we have got one that is half a centimetre smaller than the card front. So, it's 10 centimetres by 14.3. And that is for the inside of the card, which we will decorate uh, later on. You can decorate later on. We'll pop that aside. We've got a piece of parakeet party, which is also 10 centimetres by 14.3, or half a centimetre smaller than the card front, so it's going to go there. And then this piece of white, which is half a centimetre smaller again, so 9.5 by 13.8, and so that's going to be our card front. This piece is to do our stamping on, so you just it's about, oh, I don't know, what is it? It's 10 by 9, so that's big enough to do all the stamping you need. There's a little piece of Tahitian Tide, which is 8 by 7, it's plenty. Um, a little piece of white for the sentiment, and a little piece of Melon Mambo uh, for the little tuck-in underneath the sentiment. So that's that's all the things that we need. Now, the stamping piece, I'm not going to sort of do too much about the stamping, because the interesting bit about this card is creating the scene. So on this piece, you would stamp... Um, from the set this large seaweed in starry sky and this little fish also in starry sky ink so starry sky and you can see that I've done one here already so all I did was I stamped it in starry sky and then I coloured it in using um, parakeet party blends so I just went over it lightly added in a few flashes of darker for variety and then there is a handy little die cut there that matches so I've die cut that out so it's ready for us to use I'm going to come back to the fish now with the piece of Tahitian Tide I have used this die oops, of coral and that's, that's, that's what that one's for and I've already done that, so it looks like that, isn't it beautiful? I'm going to pop that over there for now, so we don't need it just yet. And for the sentiment, okay, so what I've done for the sentiment, because as you can see, Beauty of the Deep doesn't have its own sentiments. So I've gone to something fancy, and I've used that beautiful little happy birthday. Again, stamped in Starry Sky, and I have used that lovely little parallelogram die there to cut it out and I've done the same out of that little piece of melon mambo because they're going to layer together uh, when we get going. So coming back to this fish again okay you don't have to fussy cut it it does have a die but as you can see 
it, you can't see through that and so it's really easy to get it misaligned and then when you've cut it out you've actually chopped off the fish antenna. So I have a little trick to get around that which I'm going to share with you. So what I've done is I've just taken a piece of card and I've just die cut out the fish so I've got an outline. Then, hopefully this is going to work, hopefully you're going to be able to see. Um, I'm just going to rip that off so that it's not so big. Okay, so I've got my fish. I'm now going to lay over the top my outline and I can see where the die should go. Then I can get the die, drop it in. I can feel it lock into that little place. And then, oops, get my plate, pop it over top. Whoops. Wind it through. Oh, I'm just going to move that out of the way because I'm a bit close to the room. And here we have it. He's beautifully cut out. So that works with any little die. Just cut out a blank and use, oh sorry, just cut out a blank and use that to line up. Right, so now we've got all our bits. So now the fun part, which is creating our lovely little scene. So we're going to get our little piece. Now I'm going to use the grid paper to help me line this up, just to help me make it straight. I'm getting my old friend the post-it note and I'm going to make a line about an inch or two and a half centimetres up from the bottom and just put the post-it note across. Now as I'm going through this, if you see anything that I use today and you would like to add that to your craft, craft, craft stash and you live in New Zealand, please feel free to shop with me. There's a link to my online store in the video description below and it'll also pop up through the details in the, in the social media end card at the end of this video. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a blending brush and some Azure Afternoon ink. And we're just going to ink it up and start blending upwards from that post-it note. Tap, tap off, circular movements, round and round, round and round. Uh, up to you how high you go up, you don't want to go the whole way. But when you think you've got it dark enough, you can just put that aside. Okay. Now we, oh, I'll keep that little as your ink, that as your afternoon ink, because what we're going to do next is we're going to take that little seaweed stamp there, and we're just going to add in some background details. So we're going to ink it up, and we're just going to stamp. You know, I'm going to go on different angles because I don't want it in different heights because I don't want it to look all the same. Uh, don't need to go too far in because I've got quite a lot of other stuff happening in the centre. So just a bit of that to get us going. And then I'm going to get the Azure, oh sorry, the Starry Sky back again. And we're going to take this, this great big tall seaweed here. And we are going to ink it up. And we're going to just do a big, big old seaweed up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to give the ink time to transfer. Lovely. Now, I'm just going to give that a touch of colour with um, some Tahitian Tide Stamping Blends. It doesn't really matter whether you use um, the light or the dark because you're really just adding in some touches of colour. I know blue seaweed is a bit of a weird thing, but there you go. Now, I'm not actually going to colour the whole thing in because I've got some, some other things that are going to go over the top. So I'm just going to do some at the bottom and about as far down as I think it risks being seen. Uh, if that offends you, then you're more than welcome to colour in the entire pile. 
Okay, so that's everything that we need to, to stamp. So now we can remove our post-it note and we've got that nice little line um, going on there. So the next thing we're going to add in is we're going to get the Melon Mambo ink and we're going to add in that little sea urchin. Okay, so we're going to get that little stamp and we're just going to randomly stamp in. Now you don't want them all in a line like a little row of soldiers, so you want some up and some down. And ideally, uh, an odd number. It doesn't really matter where you put the odd number. Uh, I've got two and three there, so perhaps this time we'll do one over there. Okay, and that's bringing in some nice bright colour for us. So now we can just add in all the other things we've got. So we've got this uh, seaweed. We can glue him on. Okay, we can just give him a little bit of, not too much. We don't want it oozing everywhere. Whoops. We can just pop him in. we like really there and then we've got this lovely lovely die cut coral to go on now I'm just going to, you could if you wanted to get out this the um, silicon mat in the sponge uh, like I often do but I'm just going to go with the some tiny dabbles however I am not too happy with the amount of dabble going on there so I am going to get my sponge and just pat them out a bit because I don't want them oozing everywhere okay so now we shall just pop him on and we will also now start doing a bit more assembly so we shall pop this piece Oops. onto our parakeet party mat Oops. and remember the glue is going to just give us that little bit of wiggle to get it nice and straight and then we can pop him onto our card base like that and we are almost there. Okay, so we've now got our little happy birthday and it's Melon Mambo Shadow. So we can line them up. It's up to you to just which way round you want, which end you want the shadow to be on. I'm gonna go for that end. Oops, and that wiggle room to get us straight okay now where are we going to put them about there right dimensionals where are you here you are one two three and we shall just And there we go. And the other thing we need to add in is a little fish, little old fish. And he is going to get a dimensional as well. So we shall pop a dimensional there. And where's he going to go? Nope. Not there. Might have to go down there. Okay. So there we have it. That is the third, that is one of my card classes, card class projects for this month, made using the beauty of the deep bundle and some lovely bright colours from last year's in colours, Starry Sky, Parakeet Party, and some of the new colours, um, Azure. Azure Afternoon is also one of the new colours. 
Okay, I, the only other thing I can do is show you what I did on the inside. I just stamped a bit more of a scene and coloured it in, but you could do whatever you like. You can you know, always experiment on the inside. If you wanted to, you could add in some bling. I think it's bright and breezy enough as it is, but if you wanted to, you could always add in some rhinestones or some tinsel gems or something to, to add in a little bit more. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, if you live in New Zealand and, you would, and you've seen anything you'd like to add to your craft stash, please shop with me. There's a link to my online store in the video description below. As always, I'm more than happy to answer questions. And again, you can contact me through the details in the video description below or in the social media end card that's about to pop up. Um, if you've liked what you've seen and you haven't subscribed, please do so so you don't miss anything new that I do. And above all else, everyone, happy stamping.